this is the clip that we're talking about. Okay. So we're going to reload this. So we make sure we got a good, fresh shot. Okay. And take a look and listen right here, folks. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just, I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that I guess is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right. I can't just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love, to be to kind to one another. Like, what? Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? All right, so that's the clip there. We're going to pull up his Instagram in a second. But first, let's get an opinion of the ladies who watch. Um, let's start with you, Justine. <laughs> it's, it's Karen, Karen, Karen. Okay, Karen, what do you think? I think the girl is has a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the that girl has nothing to watch. Think she had a car accident? Oh no. Okay, give us a real here. Give us a real, real. Uh, you know, I'm so sorry for that because I'm the girl too. I'm so sorry for that what you uh, experience of the girl. But I just want to say to you that. That girl is that mean to you. Is that not not mean to? Doesn't to you? mean anything. Not meant for you. Yeah, that's not meant for you, mm -hmm. because that girl is the. I think he saw you in the far away, and then oh my god, this guy is not like what I want. Like that, like mm. a boy that I want. Mm. I think that girl is looking for a handsome. I think that's mm. for my idea. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly he saw that oh my god, this is the this is the guy that I date. Because you know this 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 century this um this generation generation they're looking for a, a man who's a good looking, looking you yeah. know That's like think, like me and David uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're correct and then suddenly he just uh, realized that I don't want like this and mm. he doesn't show up because he has a car accident <laughs> right so she got a car accident so okay now so okay like I understand your opinion about the girl. But um, actually, let's go to Jess next, and then I'll ask the second part. Jess, go ahead. Tell us your opinion. I really feel bad for him, but bro, I have to be honest. Like, if you set standards, like high standards for girls, you must be a standard for yourself first. Like, if you're looking for, for a beautiful, thin, attractive girl, you must be an attractive man too. Like... Work on yourself. Look at you. You're so. I mean, I. It's okay. Be honest. I have to be honest, but you're so far ugly. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but I'm telling the truth. You have to work on yourself. Then after that, that girl I'll truly believe that you'll find the girl that really into you. I swear. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do you girl? Do you want to give your opinion? Did you see this video? Come here, come here, come here, Justine. Come here, real Justine. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Sit so, on their lap. It was sit on my lap. There you go. Sit on there. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We're... So, Achilles Heel says right there, a tough love. I mean, right from the woman. So, Justine has never seen the video. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what happened. This guy, he was talking to a girl for two weeks. And he set the date, and the date never came. And then he made a video, and I'm going to show you the video. He also brought her flowers, but I want you to be honest about everything, okay? And take a look at this guy right here, and here we go. 
So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just, I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that I guess is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right and not just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love, to be to kind to one another. Like, what? Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? All right. So he says, you know, ladies, tell me what did I do wrong. So what, what do you think about that situation? So dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic? Yeah, so dramatic. And... <laughs> I'll, I'll get up. You, you guys can sit. You okay? No, I'm good. So my legs are, uh, you know. <laughs> Here, let, let, uh, let Justine sit down. Come closer. So, okay. I want to I get more of your... Come over here. Come on. So... That guy, he's upset that the girl didn't show up, right? But what do you think about that guy? Would you go on a date with that guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. And it scares me. And about that guy, it's so very dramatic and kind of scripted about it. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know. I just don't like meeting that kind of guy. Yeah. 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 And that's what me and David are saying. We're saying that he needs to do better for himself, right? Because, you know, if David if David was fat like that guy and ugly, would you meet him? If if David first picture you saw was fat David and he looks like this guy. No, David is so cute when he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also there's also a lot of things about it that I think are not um, that we're not talking about. So like, I consistently talk to her for two weeks. Right. So like mm. that statement is almost like a statement of like entitlement, like, oh, like the length of time I talk to a girl is proportional to how entitled I am for her attraction. Right. Yeah. There's another thing that he says, um, you know, bringing flowers on a first date. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's be honest, like something like that is, is pretty yeah. dramatic for a, a first woman. Date, a right? first date. No. Flowers is something you do for a girl who's special to who's you. Who's earned it. Exactly. It's a girl who's like kind of like set, who's set, who's set a standard. Yeah. Um, who's established that she is someone who deserves that. Yeah. Flowers on a first date, especially in the West, is like, man, that's like way over the top. Yeah. And actually, can I, let me see if I can get it. Yeah. Um, and what was some other things about it that. Well, I'm going to go into a little, okay, I'm going to get my piece on it as well. The section is, I think, is. So, yeah, the comment section is a completely different animal we're going to go into. So again, and look, Jonathan, that's the name of the guy watching. Jonathan, if you're watching, we're not here to like attack you or disparage you. We're not trying to make you feel better. We're not trying to make you feel bad. We're just giving you 100% truth here, okay? So if you take a look, he had mentioned a couple of things that stuck out to me. He says he wanted to be a father. He says he wanted to be a husband, okay? So looking at his Instagram, okay, there's a couple of things here. First things first, this looks like where he's working. Um, he has gray hairs. He looks like he's in his 30s at some point. And it looks like he's working at a job like Office Max or something along those lines. This looks like an Office Max or, I mean, the carpeted floors. I'm most likely going to look like an Office Max or some kind of office supply store. So um, for me, I just think, okay, you're a guy in your 30s. Um, you are clinically obese as well on top of that. And you are socially, you know, uncalibrated. Because you have to understand if you want to be a father, if you want to be a husband, you have to be able to provide financially. And it's not that there's no jobs in America and everything is bad. No, there is a shortage of quality workers, skilled workers in the United States of America. 
There are not enough jobs for cybersecurity experts. There are not enough jobs for computer programmers. You can become a truck driver. You can become a welder. All these career paths will lead you to a six-figure income. Okay, so having this victim mentality and sitting there and crying is just not going to get you what you want. So that's a gigantic red flag right there. Um, a couple of things too. I just see that he's always posting alcohol and stuff like that. You know, drink, going to the comedy shows and stuff like that. And I guess I get it. You want to be a comedian. This is another thing I tell guys who have passion projects and shit, like you need to have some kind of main income stream, some kind of sub like main source of providing for yourself financially before you go on these passion projects, because the statistics are not on your side. If you want to be a, 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 a comedian and support yourself full time. Because the majority of comedians don't make it. The majority of hip hop artists don't make it. The majority of band guys don't make it. The majority of actors don't make it. Like the numbers are not on your side. You should make sure that you have a good main income stream, main skill set as a man, because that is what a man's job is to do. He is a protector and a provider. And that's around the globe. Okay. But when you look like this, okay, and you know, you're you're doing your comedy shows and this is what you look like. I mean, look, you have a huge belly. Um, you're wearing pants that are sagging. Your fashion is not that great. You're not well groomed. I mean, I'm not trying to be like a sound like a fucking dickhead, but I mean, what I'm verbally saying is what women are thinking in their head when they reject you. Okay. And then, you know, this guy, what's this guy's name? Is it Austin Dunham or something? I don't know. I've seen this good. This is this good looking black guy. I've seen him around. He's a dating coach. And he says, stop walking like a, a dork. And I want to look, I want to, I want you to take a look at his reaction to this because this lets me know if he's posting stuff like this, he's looking at dating self-help content yeah, yeah. and take a look and listen to what he says right here. He says, stop walking like a dork. Walking like a dork? This is how you walk like an attractive man. You see, I would, but I got this thing called CP, which makes me look like I'm walking like a dork, but I'm really just trying to walk. I feel triggered by you giving this fake help. Um. Because some of the ladies actually like the way I walk. Stop walking like this. What is CP? I don't know. CP might be some kind of like disability. So maybe something with his eyes or something. But I mean, he, the, you, he, CP, I don't know what that stands for. But regardless, I mean, that's not stopping him from being in shape. That's not stopping him from getting a, I mean, he has a job clearly. Um, you know, so I just don't like this whole endless victim thing that guys like to do. And you have to take responsibility for your life. If you, I mean, he, another thing he posted here, let me show you a couple of things that just, you know, I think people inherently know what they're doing wrong, but they just don't want to take action. Like, here's another thing. You can't flex on me because I'm proud of. It. See, thing about me is that I'll never hate on nobody. You can't. So again, the, the physical composure of this guy it's not good. He's he's too big. And the thing is this too, like if you want to make it to 50 at this weight, I mean, good luck. Like the, this, the numbers are not on your side in regards to, uh, you know, heart attacks, strokes. I mean, dude, you can't just abuse the unit you're in biologically and expect to get through. I mean, I mean, the reality is that, you know, if, if, if having a, a, a good woman in your life is important to you, then like how you how much you work on yourself is proportional to that mm -hmm. you, know, you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like here's an example like you know i put a lot of thought into making sure my girls feel happy and safe mm -hmm. and i'll do research on cool places for us to do i'll go out of my way i'll, I'll put work in so that their experience is better right mm -hmm. i don't just feel entitled you know, I'm not to be like, hey, girls, like, why aren't you just like happy around me? You know, mm. it's like, no, it's my job to make them that way. And, you know, if this guy is interested in having a love life, then there's several like levers he could be pulling, you know, so like the fitness, I think, is the number one thing. Yeah. Um, next might be the maybe, you know, the job thing and uh, maybe the fashion. Like there's so many things. And if you're not pulling all those levers, then. You know, it's like it, it's like complaining that you're overweight while simultaneously not doing anything about it.